Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another answer for the man Jeff Decker. And first off, I want to say, Jeff, man, I appreciate you doing this. I know it's to help spread the word about everything to do with fitness and nutrition and all that. Um, second, I just want to say thanks for all the comments you give me. I don't consider myself one of the best out there, but I do appreciate you saying that. I'm just a person that likes to study nutrition, uh, do trial and errors with things with different people. I create my own workouts. I have about 17 to 18, maybe even more than that, training plans I have customized. And what we do is we'll take 10 to 12 weeks and we'll run through each one of them to be sure that they're, they will work um, for about anyone because there's a lot of different things and variables that I add to the training that makes it sort of like a new concept to each person. So you asked me, what would I do if you were eight weeks out from a show uh, and you contacted me and wanted me to help you prep for the final eight weeks. There's a lot of factors that go into contest prep. There's a lot of factors that go into what I give a person in terms of what they should do. First off, eight weeks is a very, very short time to prep if you haven't been prepping already. I like to start people out anywhere from 16, 14 to 12 weeks, depending on how they look. First thing I would wanna do, if you contacted me, ask me to help you with these last eight weeks, I want to see progress pictures. I want to see where you're at now. I want to see th at least three pictures of front, side, and rear. It can be front double bicep, side chest, side try, rear double by, rear lat spread, whatever you want. I need to see quads if you're competing in bodybuilding. If you happen to be a female, I'd want to see some poses of whatever category you're going to be competing in because at eight weeks out, you should at least have a general idea of how to pose. Next, um, I want to know how you've been eating. Uh, over the past four to five weeks. I want to know your water intake per day, your supplement intake. I want to know, um, have you been doing cardio? When has it been? Has it been early in the mornings fasted? Post-workout, have you not been doing any? If you've been doing cardio, what type is it? Is it steady state? Is it HIIT? Um, is it nothing? Whatever you've been doing, I'm going to try to pull out as much info from you that I can so that I'm able to devise the correct nutrition and correct training plan and cardio, cardio regimen that will help you get ready in these final eight weeks. If I don't think you're ready to compete on stage in eight weeks, I'm going to tell you we should have started sooner. But I know there's a lot of people out there who have had went through major weight loss and Though they know that they're not ready to get on stage, they want to get on stage just to do something to prove to themselves and kind of reward themselves of all they went through to make this weight loss happen. I've saw it at a lot of shows. A lot of people don't understand it, but as I took time, I now understand why these people do it. They don't look stage ready at all, but this is just a personal goal they have had. And if it satisfies them and it helps them more with confidence or whatever, then I don't see any reason not to do it. There's going to be a lot of haters out there though who will bash you and talk about you. You just got to overlook them and go on about your business. All right, so I'm going to say Jeff contacted me at eight weeks out. He looks in good condition. He's got abs are starting to show. His quads are, you know, they're they've got some lines going through them. Um, he still has some fat to lose though, so. Back to what I said, I want to know everything, how the training, how the nutrition has been. I want to know the water intake, as I mentioned, every every detail possible. I, I want to know it before I set him up. So we're going to say that Jeff has been training six days a week. He's been doing fasted cardio for 20 minutes a day. Uh, his nutrition has been on the high end of carbs. Uh, we'll say he's been having four to 500 carbs a day, 100. 75 to 100 carbs per meal. Uh, he's having three protein shakes a day and three whole food meals. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at look at that nutritional plan and I'm going to make big adjustments adjustments to that. First off, I'm going to basis I'm going to probably since we only have eight weeks, I'm going to cut his carbs down in half to begin with, just to see how his body responds. Okay, so and I'm also going to take out three of those shakes. We're going to go to five whole, five whole food meals today and one shake. I'm going to let his shake be the meal, two meals before his pre-workout meal. Or if he trains first thing in the morning, I'll let it be maybe his final meal of the day. All right, so 
we're going to base his carb intake, most of his carb intake around his training because you need the carbs to get through the training. You need carbs post-workout to refuel the body. You don't want any muscle mass to be lost during this process. So you have to really pay attention to how you play with the carbs in and around training and really throughout the entire prep. Um, we'll say that he's, like I said, he's been in the gym six days training. He's been doing some heavy lifting, uh, not a lot of volume, uh, two ab days a week. So instantly I'm gonna change this up. I'm gonna shock the shit out of his body real quick. So we're gonna go, we're gonna stay at six days training, but we're gonna to go to some really, really high reps. We're gonna go for his big movements, his compound movements, bench, squat, deadlift, which we won't deadlift at eight weeks out. We may do some rack pulls. That's just to keep the waistline down. If you deadlift, you're using a whole lot of your waist and you're, you can really cause a distension in your uh, abdominal area. So all we want to do is rack pulls to work that lower back. All right, so we're going to go into really high reps. His rep range for his bench, rack pull, and squat, we're going to go 8 to 10 reps. We're going to have minimal rest in between sets. We're going to keep, uh, we're probably going to throw in five moves a day. We'll, we'll say it's leg day. We're going to throw in four moves for quads. We're going to throw in four moves for hams. The ham workout is going to be complete supersets, back to back to back to back, the quads. It's going to be fast paced through the sets, but we're not going to superset quads. All right, not yet. We may do it at four weeks out, three weeks out. We may, we'll more than likely change the training up three to four times throughout the final eight weeks. So, all right, uh, like I said, eight days a week or six days a week training. We're going to hit. Monday we're going to hit uh, we're going to do hit back on Monday. Tuesday you're going to do chest. Wednesday you're going to hit legs. Thursday we're going to hit shoulders. Fridays you're going to hit biceps and triceps. Saturday you're going to hit legs again. Why do I want you to hit legs again? Because well we'll just say for in this instance all your body parts are pretty well proportionate, so there's no need to really and it's hard to it's you're not going to gain a lot of mass or if any at all at eight weeks out from a show on low carbs and, and this sort of training. So. Saturday we're just going to hit legs again. Uh, legs legs are, are really hard. They're they're really taxing on the body, and we want to push it to the limit as far as training goes. So I'm going to have you in there two days, going balls to the wall, trashing those legs, because everybody hates leg day. That's another reason. All right. So uh, now we have the training. We have the the nutrition down on the nutrition's on point. Supplements. If you ain't tar if you're not taking any uh, BCAAs, I'm gonna ex that's the first thing I'm gonna suggest to you. Uh, there's a few more other supplements that I consider great for helping with fat loss and keeping your muscles full, and all this would be sent to you, you know, in your email, in what you get, you know, at, at eight weeks out, so we can start the process. All right, uh, cardio. I'm gonna put you on six days of fast cardio right off the bat. Another way to shock the body. I want to. I want to get the. I want to get the. You're already probably in a fat burning stage, but I want to take it to a new level. Six days of fast cardio. The time may vary. I don't know. It depends on how you look. Uh, it could be 20 minutes fasted. It could be 45 minutes fasted. It may be 55 minutes fasted. All right, and then I'm going to give you some protocols to do while you're doing your fast cardio. As I mentioned in the video before, when I do cardio or when I start my training. I wear long sleeves, I wear a hoodie on top of the long sleeves, I wear a beanie, and I'll put my hood on over the beanie. This creates your, this causes your body to heat up quicker as you're doing the cardio. You sweat more, um, all of which lead to you know greater fat loss, which is what we have to have with you being eight weeks out. We're also going to throw in post-workout cardio. The post-workout cardio may vary. It may be steady state. It may be HIIT. It could be something totally different. I don't know. Uh, it would just depend on how you look at the time or how you look, yeah, how you look at the time at eight weeks out. So a lot of variables go into what I can do for you, and it's not just you come to me here and ask me, all right, I'm eight weeks out, I want to compete. I'm not just going to throw you some nutrition plan and some training and cardio plan. I'm going to, I want to know all the details so I can put you on exactly what you need. And that is what I think a real coach should do. You should never 
have a cookie cutter plan for anyone. I, every plan you do, no matter who it is, should be customized to that person's need, that that person's goals. And as I mentioned, actually I don't think I mentioned, but we, since Jeff is eight weeks out, we're going to gauge progress every week. Every Saturday morning, I want progress picks upon waking in those three same poses that I had you do when you started. All right, so each week I'm gonna make I'm gonna make changes to your nutrition as I see necessary based on how you've pro progressed. Cardio may be changed, it may be lowered, it may be I may up it even more. Your training, as I mentioned, it may change, it may not change. Um, supplements, we we may add something else, we may take something away. But this is just the basic general idea of how I do every plan that I receive and this is exactly what I would do if Jeff came to me or anyone else at 8 weeks, 12 weeks, 14, 16 weeks out it doesn't matter I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply the same principle to everyone uh, so thank you guys sorry this got into it's quite a long video but I appreciate you taking the time to listen um, if I can assist anyone with anything out there if you have questions on anything just comment on the video below, comment on Facebook, uh, send me an email. Uh, you can find my email through fitnesspointers.com, uh, Instagram at fitnesspointers, twi Twitter at fitnesspointers. Uh, so thank you guys. I hope everyone's new year has started off to be a great one. Till next time, peace.